I think uh, there is a the, the humanity really is at a crossroads, and uh, things seem to be going. I mean, it, it's, it's almost possible to have a sort of new dark age if we're, if we're in the sense of people being lost in a sort of collective hallucination of consumerism and and um, and and abandoning any attempt to to, uh, to to direct their own lives, just allowing other people to do it for them, and being particularly in the West um, uh, totally involved with the celebrity culture where they would think a little bit of glitter from these people might fall upon them if they follow their, in my view, rather empty lives. And uh, there, there is a, um, and I think that we've become so um, uh, separated from nature, that uh, partly through our language, partly through our sort of very abstract way of thinking, and, and our, our living in, in cities, that it's difficult uh, for people to have a direct sensuous appreciation of nature. And as a result of that, and then if they do experience it, it's often on television, where there's a, there's a removed several times being interpreted by, a, by another person. And uh, I think that, that removal and that readiness also to um, exploit all the remaining resources in, in, on, on, on Earth and in the air uh, it will, will, and with our growing population numbers, will, will lead to increasing uh, difficulty. And so there's a, there's both, I think, a political um, crisis and an ecological crisis. And 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 I think you have to, you can't really separate one from the other because the, the the more the, the more resources are used up, and the more um, our population grows. I think there's a greater com competition there will be between states and societies. And so we do have to try and, it's, it's, at the same time, it's not too late. I think we can, a lot of people, particularly young people, are, are becoming increasingly aware of this. And they're not only experimenting with new ways of living and thinking, but they are questioning very deeply the uh, society of the spectacle in, uh, in, and, no, and refusing just simply to be passive um, observers of other others on, on the screens, uh, and just to be, be um, calculating consumers, but they are wanting to be active um, agents in culture and in history, and so they're they're, re, um, they're reacquiring their own lives. So that that is a very positive, and that's going right through, I think, uh, through, throughout the world, particularly in. Uh, we can easily see that in in. Uh, from the turn of the millennium in that people uh, uh, organize themselves in the global justice movement against war, against uh, um, capital, against multinational companies. Uh, so there is a, there, I think there is a, a new consciousness evolving and I'm very pleased to see a lot of the new organization is very anarchistic even if people may not be consciously aware of that in, in that, uh, that people are organizing themselves through um, Net, leaderless networks of, of, uh, and, and webs rather than pyramids. Um, so I think that you know, there, is, there is hope, but uh, we, we are entering into a very difficult time. And that what's happening in the Middle East, for instance, um, is also very encouraging. And it does show that uh, I think, uh, as I said, as, a, I, I, as I've said elsewhere in my writing, that people do have a fundamental drive to be free and and uh, so and for most of human history if left, left them themselves people organize in a very peaceful and, and creative way and that you can and they eventually have enough as I think as can be seen in the Middle East now so there's I there are very positive signs but we do have to deal with uh, both this ecological crisis uh, and also with a political crisis where it's, uh, it seems that having authoritarian socialism and communism failed was one of the great hopes of the 19th century for many and the 20th century, that the only alternative uh, on view is, is a, a sort of liberal uh, representative democracy for the sort of American form uh, being exported and, and market economics. But there are alternatives, and people are looking towards them as a sort of libertarian socialist 
alternatives and anarchistic alternatives. So that that gives me hope, um, and uh, I think there are green shoots shooting up everywhere, and that that although we it may be uh, there is a there is a sense in which um, there are the, the seeds are awakening in the desert. <laughs>